Now, Stephen A., you're out there in Cleveland already getting a pulse of this city. What do you expect from these fans tonight when Kyrie shows up? Well, I think that he'll be descended with some level of booze. There's no doubt about that. People don't appreciate you departing and leaving them, particularly when you're a championship contender, and that's to be understood. But that doesn't mean they would be completely correct. Let's be very, very clear. This is a brother that averaged 25 points per game in the last two postseasons. This is a guy that hit the game when the shot at Game 7 to seal their first, championships in more, uh, their first championship in more than a half century. This is the guy that was the sidekick to the greatest player in the world, who, by the way, averaged 29 and 27 respectively or actually 27 and 29 respectively in the last two NBA finals. This is not a scrub. This is a guy that's a star that played like a star when called upon and handled his business. Unfortunately, Kevin Durant went to Golden State and just shifted dramatically the balance of power and that was the only reason that derailed the Cleveland Cavaliers from, from repeating as champions. But to understand everything else, let's be very, very clear. Kyrie Irving left because of LeBron James. Uh, that doesn't mean LeBron James was at fault. That might be Kyrie Irving was at fault for all we know. He threw a lot of reasons out there, and I'm quite sure that wasn't the only reason. But primarily, he wanted to be out on his own. He wanted to go someplace else that was, that, where he wouldn't be LeBron James' teammate. He can slice it any way he wants to. And what this comes down to is that a night like tonight, they're supposed to boo him because they're cheering LeBron James. And this city is going to show that it's going to stand up and support LeBron James because he's the king who's still here. Who, by the way, you need to appease very, very significantly to make sure he wants to stay here because we all know that LeBron James is approaching free agency next summer. And obviously he has shown this city in the Northeast Ohio area that he is not shy about leaving. So you want to do everything that you can to ingratiate yourself with him, to embrace him, to show him love. And if Kyrie Kyrie Irving has to be the individual that suffers the consequences because of the affection that you're committed to showing LeBron James. So be it. So I expect him to be booed, but it's not going to be anything compared to what LeBron James had to endure back in 2011. He was the prodigal son who decided to leave. He went to Miami and dramatically shifted the balance of power at that particular juncture. He didn't give anybody any kind of warning in the folks' eyes here. And you had Dan Gilbert, the owner of the Cleveland Cavaliers, being as belligerent and cantankerous as one could be as an owner, calling him out in ways that we still don't need to get into because that's how ugly it was. So LeBron James, what he had to endure, remember, he's from this area, so when he left, he didn't just leave the team, he left the area. Kyrie... Kyrie Irving is from New Jersey. Kyrie Irving ain't from here. He played here for the six years, but he's, and now he's in Boston. He didn't go home. He just left here. And he was never the guy that LeBron James was. He never meant to this place what LeBron James means to this place. So the vitriol won't be anything compared to what LeBron James endured. Kyrie Irving will be booed, nothing like LeBron James. That's the short way to say it, Stephen A., just, just FYI. Of course that's the case. Why? Because emotional well, responses saying, from fans, you still not done? Emotional responses from fans are based, they are, they are positively correlated. They are, you know, exactly it reflects how strongly the fans feel about you. And there's simply not as much passion about Kyrie good or bad, as there is about LeBron. NBA is not about Kyrie. Kyrie is a major character in the NBA, but he is not the protagonist. That is LeBron James. It is his league. It is his world. The fans feel more strongly about him. They love him more when he plays for their team. They hate him more when he leaves. That's the way it is. So, of course, Kyrie is not going to be booed the way LeBron was booed upon first returning. Also, Kyrie didn't leave as a free agent. Now, he did want out. He wanted out, and he got his wish. But the Cavs did get something back for him. The overall feeling about that deal, for, from the Cavs fans' point of view, is pretty good. I think we both agreed that both teams got better as a result of the trade. So, yes, they will boo him because he's the enemy now. He plays for the other team. But he was, you know, as much as I am critical of Kyrie on this show, because to, I haven't seen his, him make teammates better, I haven't seen him be on a winning team when LeBron sits down four games or even four minutes. Kyrie's team did bad. Now, you could say, well, it, the team wasn't constructed around him. It's his bad luck. He was still ascending. He was a young player when he didn't have guys around him. How much better is he going to make everyone? Then when he got to be his prime or whatever he is now, uh, the team wasn't constructed around him. And those, some, there's some legitimate points to be made there. Nevertheless, he hasn't yet made the people around him better, and I think – 
I and others rightly criticize or point that out. But not just anyone could have done what Kyrie did in the finals on a LeBron James and Kevin Love and others team. Kyrie was special even among special players in crunch time. And I do think that takes the edge off when someone achieves that way for your team it and, and it results in a championship. It takes the edge off the vitriol of the fans upon returning. They will boo him, obviously. They don't care as much about him, so they won't boo him like they booed LeBron.